Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. <laughs> my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area, and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So I'm sorry, today's video might be a little bit noisy. The dishwasher is going um, in the background, but we're gonna do the under sink area today. So if you've been looking for some inspiration on how to organize your inner sink, this is the video for you. We're gonna be nice and simple, nothing complicated, just nice and easy. Your under sink area does not have to be a disaster. It doesn't have to be crazy. It just has to be functional. And I'm gonna give you some tips and show you how we're gonna organize ours right now. So if you are new here, we just moved and we have, we just moved in, into an apartment. Um, we're renting temporarily uh, because we sold our condo. It's a whole thing. That dishwasher is so loud. Anyway, here's our under sink, under sink area. I'll show you what's going on. So here is what we're working with when we unpacked last week. I just threw everything in. And you know what? It's really not that bad. This is an alpha drawer unit that I've had in three three under sink areas now. I think this is the third one and it's an extra narrow cabinet size. Uh, this drawer unit is sold exclusively at the container store and the labels, uh, although they do kind of make sense, cleaners and tools will make maybe nicer labels. Um, so right now it's the under sink isn't looking too bad, but we're gonna make it look even better. We've got a couple of command hooks up here already, which isn't bad. Maybe we can uh, get a couple more for, cause I see the, the dish gloves are there and um, just, just, just let's clean this up just a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do is make sure everything under here is necessary and what we're gonna keep. And um, just do a little organizing and cleaning up. And um, yeah, it'll be fun. You guys gotta see my man over here. So you guys say you miss him every time I don't show him, but here's Mr. Bean. He's looking for a nap. You can see he's, he just got off the couch because he was sleeping. And now he's looking for a new place to rest. He's gonna sleep on the floor now. There he goes, yep, going down. All right, <laughs> he played at the dog park today for a long time and now he's super tired and he's taking a nap. I wish I could take a nap. All right, good night. Good night, Clover. My main strategy for organizing under sinks is to take advantage of the vertical space and also of the doors. So I grabbed my favorite thing, command hooks. I love these utility hooks with the little metal hooks. They are great for storing things like dish gloves and dusters and all kinds of other things that you can store on the sides of the doors. Just make sure you can close the door when you hang things on the hook. That's what I was double checking. And normally when you hang command hooks, you don't wanna put anything on them for an hour but just because I was making this video and trying things out I wanted to try and hang those dish gloves on there but just so you know when you're using command hooks don't put anything on them for an hour after you've installed them onto the wall just let them set let them simmer let them marinate I even like to go 24 hours with some command hooks and then they'll be good to go Organizing under sink is something that a lot of people get intimidated by because they have all of these specialty cleaners. And I am going to tell you right now, it's most likely that you do not need these specialty cleaners. You might need a general all purpose cleaner and maybe you know some stuff for the dishes and hand soap and a couple other things, but I don't think you need all of the cleaners. So try to minimize a little bit. And here is the finished product. Nothing too complicated, nothing too cluttered, just kind of basic. And what bothers me is we are out of dishwashing pods. <laughs> we were using the last one that moment and I didn't get to buy some new ones. But as you can see, that's where they go in that container. But I'll take on a little tour of the under sink. Whoa, whoa, the camera. <laughs> anyway, the first thing I want to show you guys is the fat trapper. This is a little handy dandy little thing that you can put your solid fats in, you know, your bacon grease, your beef grease, whatever, when you cook, and then you can put them in there and then you can just throw them in the trash when it gets all full. So you don't have to clog your sink. It's very convenient and I will link it down below. And then in this old food storage container, we used to keep rice, we now keep dish pods and it's a great way to reuse items uh, if you're not using them anymore. And oh, I lined the shelf, the bottom of the cabinet with Plastimat. I always do that just in case there are any links, uh, links, no, <laughs> leaks under the sink and there as a matter of fact there was a link uh i keep saying link a leak under the sink when we first moved in and it got fixed and i was really glad that plastamat was there 
Next is my little container full of just everyday grab and go items. We've got the everyday cleaner in my glass bottle there. And I also have a little tiny spice jar full of baking soda that I use to clean with sometimes. <laughs> it's got the sprinkler on there. It comes in really handy. Don't judge. I love that thing. And we just have our temporary trash bags because we're, I don't know, Amazon's like out of the ones we usually use. So and I also have the backups for the fat trapper, a little uh, backup dish soap and some fire extinguisher action. <laughs> it's really cute. And I can just grab and go from this basket because these are the things I use the most. And in this basket, I have all of my cleaners and things I need to clean and also backup trash bags, it looks like. The first thing I'm gonna draw your attention to is my favorite thing to clean dishes with sometimes is my heavyweight scrub gloves. They are a friend of the channel. And what they are is they're basically gloves that you can clean with. Like you don't need like a cloth. You just clean with your hands and they're really fun to use. So sometimes when I clean the sink, I use those. Um, I, they're also really fun to clean the bathtub with. They're so much fun. Anyway, I just have my vinegar cleaner back there. If I want to clean glass, I make that myself with vinegar. And I have my all-purpose concentrate there. I have another all-purpose purpose concentrate from Mrs. Myers, and then I have these little like Swedish uh, like reusable napkins. Well, they're not napkins, they're like things to clean with. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of Mrs. Myers cleaners and Barkeeper's Friend, which is my favorite, and then the less uh, extreme version, which is Bon Ami. <laughs> so, and then our backup trash cans. So not much going on in the like cleaning products department, but then we have these cool sponges. These are like the scrunges, I think from Scotchbrite, I think. They are the best sponges to clean dishes with. They're amazing. They're so good, so good. I just have some basic cleaning brushes here from OXO. One's a grout brush and one is like a little detail brush. Love them so much. I've got some Bottle Bright to clean water bottles. And then I also have these Scotchbrite um, heavy duty scrubbers. These are so good. They're so good. They're so much better. Uh, than like steel wool. Oh, there's a little dog hair on there. What What the heck? Anyway, they're so much better than steel wool at cleaning, um, you know, stuck on food. And they're just, they're just really good. The other thing that we have under here that is really handy is our dish drying mat. So um, a dish drying rack would be really bulky and take up a lot of counter space. So instead we have this dish drying mat from Umbra that we've been using for a good few years now. And the best, the best thing about, the, about this, can't talk today, the best thing about this is when you can, when it's dirty, you just pop it right into the washing machine and into the dryer and it gets all clean. And then you can fold it up and put it right underneath and you don't have to take up any counter space with it. And we love it. It's awesome. There's not that, I mean, we, we don't need a big dish, dish rack at all. So that is that is that, I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh, I'm putting these back. I'm putting these back. Over on this side, we've got the command hooks and I have this, it's a drain cleaner brush that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond for like five bucks. This thing is a lifesaver. It's a pain in the butt to clean once you clean it, but like it's so much better than Drano. Um, it just, it, if you have like a, you know, a drain full of hair and stuff, grab that guy, it's the best. We have a bottle cleaner from uh, OXO, very good. And I have my dish gloves over here, which I use if I want to keep my hands nice and dry while doing the dishes. And they're on here basically with binder clips and a command hook. Now I've experimented with hanging these a number of ways, like by having like clip hooks and stuff like that. I found this is the best way, even though I'm kind of annoyed when I have these on that the, the binder clips are hanging off the sides of them, that it's just convenient and it's the best way for me. Anyway. That's our under sink, nice and simple, nothing too complicated. Just, you know, if there's a leak or a situation, I can pretty much empty this cabinet very quickly. Love it. All right, well that is another project down. I'm sorry for the voiceover, it was just too darn loud with the dishwasher running. But I hope this inspired you to clean out and organize your under sink area in your kitchen. It doesn't have to be a disaster area. You don't have to have a lot of stuff under there. Keep it simple and you'll never lose anything under there again. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.